accused of killing two people. His charges were suddenly dropped, but he may not be in the clear today. We're getting an explanation from prosecutors just moments ago. We'll have that coming up, but all this stems from a double capital murder case. Christian Belmudez released from jail just this morning. Eric Hernandez takes us through the investigation, starting when a man and a woman were found shot to death at a Northeast side hotel. But then ending today when the man was, who was arrested for that crime walked free. On January 16th, a housekeeper at this travel lodge in the 3800 block of I-35 found Gabriel Sanchez and Sana McNeil dead from multiple gunshot wounds. At the time, police didn't have a suspect, but would later put out these photos of 19-year-old Christian Belmudez. Two months later, Belmudez was arrested and charged with two counts of capital murder and bonds were set totaling a million dollars. According to the arrest affidavit, surveillance video from the hotel allegedly showed Belmudez leaving a hotel room and running toward a stairwell. Police said he was also carrying a handgun in each hand and a backpack. Belmudez is now a free man as he was able to walk out of the Bear County Jail this morning as both capital murder charges were dismissed yesterday. Online court records showed Belmudis, who was awaiting indictment, had one capital murder charge dismissed for insufficient evidence and the second capital murder charge dismissed for further investigation. Case at 12 reached out to the district attorney's office for a comment about the dismissals and what happens next in this case, but have yet to hear back. For now, the double murder remains unsolved as no other suspect was ever named in the case. Erica Hernandez, Case at 12 News. And that's uh, just a couple of minutes before news time. We did hear back from the Bear County District Attorney, Joe Gonzalez, and he responded in a statement saying, our office must prove beyond a reasonable doubt to a Bear County jury that a defendant has committed the crime of which he or she is accused. That is the law. In this instance, a full review of all of the evidence currently available to our office showed that the evidence necessary to reach the, quote, beyond a reasonable doubt, unquote, was incomplete. As a result, our office has asked for additional information and investigation. That matter will be revisited once more details and evidence are available. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.